Hot with this new show called Ladies of Hotlanta. It's a reality show. It may be a part of the Real Housewives franchise. We don't know yet, but they're looking for associate producers. And because I know you're obsessed with the Hills, would you be interested in moving to Atlanta from New York for three months as a local to work on this show? So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm comfortable. I'm in New York City, you know, one of the best cities in the world. I don't know. And then she was like, if you love reality TV as much as you say you do, my advice would be to give it a try because you never, you don't want any regrets. You don't want to ever say to yourself, what if I would have tried? And I said, you know what? You're absolutely right. And honey, I packed my bags, moved to Atlanta to work on this Ladies of Atlanta show. And honey, when I met Nene Leakes on my first day of work, I said this was the best decision of my fucking life. So do we have Lauren Conrad to thank for Nene Leakes in a roundabout way? Yes! Lauren Conrad and Heidi Montauk. So let's be clear. Without Heidi, Lauren isn't great. Without Lauren, Heidi isn't great. So I have to give it to Lauren and Heidi. You're right. I never thought about that. Without those two icons, I would have never left New York City, the greatest city in the world, to move to Atlanta to work on this unknown reality show. And we would not have the icon that is Nene Leakes in our lives. No. So you get there, you're an associate producer, you know, you're not this executive producer you are today. Everyone's assigned to a woman. You know, we have lots of, we have Deshaun Snow and Lisa Wu. You happen to get Nene Leakes, as you say, like, what is your, you, you meet Nene, like, what is the reaction? Like, I guess you just said it, but I mean, like, did you have that first reaction? Like, could you tell right away? I knew within seconds. And it's funny because I do believe that everything happens for a reason. And I do believe the stars are aligned and you really have to sit still to really make sure like, okay, am I pivoting in the right direction? I was super nervous going into this new genre of television. I was super inexperienced. So I was very, very, you know, humbled in the sense of do a great job and let's see what happens. So when I met Nene Leakes on my first day, she says to me, hey, bitch. And I'm looking around like, you're talking to me? And she goes, yes, girl, yes. And I'm like, who is this woman? I'm obsessed with her. She and I hit, hit it off immediately and she started to mimic my mannerisms. Because again, I'm a gay black man. I'm very whimsical. And she would stare at me and sort of like how a parent, when they're drinking around their friends and they call their child down to perform in front of their friends, like, hey, Susie, come downstairs and perform for us. Do that song that you made up the, the other day. So Nene would call me around her friends right? Not the other housewives, but like her immediate friends and family. Carlos, um, do that thing you do with your hair. And I would like swoop my non-existent bangs. And she would be like, oh my God, say that thing you said to me the other day. And I'm like, yes, bitch, yes. And she's like, oh my God, this is the greatest. So she would take our conversations and apply it on camera. And then everybody would be like, <laughs> What is she saying? What are these sayings she's doing? And little did they know that she was mocking me. And when the show first aired, all of my friends says, why is Nene Leakes acting like you? And I was like, girl, I, I don't know. She just, you know, she loves me and I love her. So is that like great? Are you like, oh my God, part of me is in that first season and so on? It was, it was amazing. It was fabulous. It was fantastic. It was a huge compliment to my position on the show. Because again, I came in just very humbled, very inexperienced. So to know that the star of the season, right, was Nene Leakes. So to know that she likened me so much that she started to mock me 
on, on camera, but do it in a way where it was a compliment. And to know that my position as her producer was to make her feel comfortable. I didn't know that she was gonna be so comfortable that she said, bitch, I'm gonna take your whole identity and just make it up in front of the camera. But um, it's a true testament to how important a producer is to a housewife, not just other reality stars, but when you are a housewife, you need that producer who you have a great rapport with. And I think the relationship between Nene Leakes and Carlos King truly would go down in history as the best housewife and producer relationship because look at the magic we created together. Yeah. Was there, when did you first know like Real Housewives of Atlanta, like this was it? Like, you know, this was gonna be it. Five days into our first week of shooting. So <clears throat> prior to that, we shot Nene and Kim. So I was like, this is different. This Ebony and Ivory relationship, I've never seen this on camera. Again, Heidi and Lauren, you girls have nothing on this Nene and Kim. This is a dynamic duo, black woman, white woman, but they both mesh well. So I was impressed with that, but it wasn't until Sheree Whitfield's birthday party and Nene Leakes and Kim Zosiak drove together to attend. Nene Leakes' name was not on the list. And again, I'm this new producer. So everybody around, like all the producers, when that security guard said to Nene, your name's not on the list, you cannot come in. The executive producer was like, no, she's like the star of the show. This may be a housewife, she's a housewife. And he said, I was told that anyone's name that is not on this list cannot come in. And we're fighting for her to come in. And if you know Nene, Nene always felt like she was the queen of Atlanta. She was super embarrassed because not only is she seeing the cameras capturing this five days into shooting, she also sees all of Atlanta's elites staring at her not being able to go into a party. And the venom that she spit out, it was so real so unpredictable. That was the night I remember saying to my friend who got me the job, I said, bitch, this show is going to be the biggest show Bravo has ever seen because I have never seen anything like